Hello, my name is Bryant Myers, author of the book PEMF, The Fifth Element of Health. And I'm going to continue my video overview of my book. And let's talk now about what to look for in a PEMF device. And when you're looking and shopping for a PEMF therapy device, you know, in my book, I appeal to, you know, looking for an earth inspired PEMF device, which means a PEMF therapy machine that is inspired by the earth's frequencies and intensities and also is going to go along with the circadian rhythms of your body. And we'll, we'll talk about all these things here. But the four main parameters are your frequency, which is cycles per second, the intensity, which is measured in Tesla or Gauss, and typically micro Tesla because Teslas are a very strong magnetic field strength. Then you have the waveform, which is the geometry of the signal, and the timing, which is both the duration, you know, based on circadian rhythms, using the right frequency for the right time of day. Typically, we want to be energized in the morning and be more relaxed at night. So, so those are the four main parameters, actually, of any electromagnetic wave or even any frequency wave that you can describe. So let's begin by talking about intensity or amplitude. And intensity is basically just the strength of the magnetic field. And like I said, it's measured in either Tesla or Gauss. And those are two units that are both measure the same thing when we're looking at PMF therapy devices. And just to kind of put that into perspective, the Earth's natural static electromagnetic field or magnetic field is 33 to 66 micro Tesla. And that corresponds to 0.33 to 0.66 Gauss. So 10,000 Gauss equals one Tesla. So a Tesla is a much stronger unit. Now, the Schumann resonance, which is more of the frequency component, of the Earth's magnetic field is only one picotesla. A picotesla is one one millionth of a microtesla or one trillionth of a tesla. So we're talking about a very, very, very weak intensity. And like we've mentioned earlier, the Earth's Schumann resonance has been proven to be an essential element of health, just like food, water, air, and oxygen. So what we need is essential is actually very, very, very weak. There's a saying, small is powerful, less is more. And you can see in the Addy window has both an amplitude and frequency window. And we can use an analogy of our sense. For example, the amplitude window for your sense of hearing would be basically a level of sound that was just loud enough that you could hear it and not too loud to cause harm. So within hearing, there's only a certain range of intensities or volume that we can hear. Same thing with light. You know, if there's not enough photons in a room, if it's really dark, we can't see anything. And if we're staring right at the sun, it's too bright so we can hurt ourselves. That's also true with PEMFs of the earth and what our cells respond to, what Addy and Bowen found was that if you use too high of an intensity, it can cause harm over time. And the NASA study showed that you only need 1 to 20 microtesla to get the maximum benefits from PEMF. That's even weaker than the Earth's static magnetic field. Again, less is more here. So some of these machines that are on the market that are using very high intensities are trying to sell you on the more is better myth and actually, when it comes to PEMF, less is more, and less is actually more effective, according to the NASA study and some other research out there. I just want to kind of briefly go over a few myths of these high-intensity machines, and you can see a picture, but the point is, is that you'll know them because they're recommending a much higher intensity, upwards to even two Tesla, which is, in my opinion, way too high. These machines will give you some symptomatic relief, but you know that's more like allopathic energy medicine. I mean, I could give you a painkiller that's very toxic, and you know it'll give you symptomatic relief, but it's got side effects. That's a very allopathic approach to trying to just shut down the pain, where the healing response, actually NASA proved that a lower intensity is what speeds up healing and regeneration actually better than high intensity. It's kind of like homeopathy, where the strongest homeopathic remedies are the ones that are the most dilute. And also, there's this laying on the grass myth where some of these high intensity machines will say, well, these lower intensity systems, you don't even need to buy them because you can just go lay on the grass. Well, that's not exactly true. And I talked about the twofold problem on planet Earth, number one. And number two is that these machines that are using intensities in alignment with the Earth's static field 
are still many orders of magnitude stronger than the Schumann resonance, which is only one picotesla. So you are getting a very concentrated PEMF dosage that you're not getting just by laying on the earth. And if you take a magnetic field detector and put it up to the earth, all you're going to measure is a static field. You won't get any frequency components unless you have a very sensitive antenna to pick up the Schumann resonance. But our body does have biological antennas that will tune in to these uh, Schumann resonance and the geomagnetic frequencies. Let's now talk about the best frequency, waveform, and timing to look for in a PMF device. We already looked at in detail at the frequency component, which is the 0 to 30 hertz range. And I went into a lot of detail as to why those frequencies are the most effective for the human body and also the most natural. It's actually what the Earth is giving us. It's what our brains operate at. It's what our cells respond to, our tissues, etc. So let's look at now the waveform. And the NASA study was a, you know, a four-year, multi-million dollar study by Dr. Goodwin. And he found the most effective waveform was a rapid rise and fall. And two waveforms meet that criteria. The first is the square wave which is what the NASA study concluded to be the most effective for healing and regeneration, and also the sawtooth, which is an ideal waveform for, for delivering bunches of frequencies simultaneously. So ideally, you'd want a PMF device that has both the sawtooth on the full body mat, and what that'll do is it'll give you all the, a, a full range of the 0 to 30 hertz frequencies, ideally, so you can get many frequencies all at once. And then on the local applicators like the pillow or mat or probe or pen, you would want the square wave ideally because that is the best frequency shown by NASA to break up cycles of pain and also to help with healing and regeneration. So I recommend looking for a PMF device with a rapid rise and fall waveform. Certainly not a static mattress pad because those have no frequency component. And the machines that use a sine wave is also not rapid rise and fall. The next thing is timing, or and this kind of goes along with circadian rhythms of the body, and also, you know, how long do you lay on the mat? Well, research has shown with PMF therapy versus static magnets that all you need is like eight minutes twice a day of a low-intensity Earth-inspired PMF system, and that is enough to charge up your 100 trillion cells. Now, the biorhythm is the frequencies for the time of day, so when you use the mat, a PMF mat, if you use it in the morning, you'd want more energizing frequencies, maybe more of the beta frequencies around, say, 15 hertz, where in the evening before bedtime, you would want you know, the very relaxing frequencies. So those are just some of the things to look for in a PMF device. In my book, I go into much more detail on many different things you'd want to look for in a PMF device. And just check out my book for that. But I want to move on here to now the top eight benefits of PMF therapy. So PMF therapy, will, at the cellular level, it charges up the cell. So it's working very fundamentally. And it will help you, to, as research has shown, to have stronger bones. It will help improve endorphins and, and, of course, which works with pain relief. And it also directly works at breaking up cycles of pain. It helps you get better sleep. It will help you to have more energy, better oxygenation and circulation, an improved immune system relaxation and stress reduction, and nerve and tissue regeneration. And those are just a few of the many benefits that you'll get. And finally, in the last chapter of my book, I go over action steps that you can implement in your life to improve your health right away. So, you know, check out the last chapter of my book, and I go over what foods to look for, the best kind of water, in dealing with full-spectrum light and sauna therapy, I give some recommendations, and oxygen therapy, and also, of course, PEMF therapy. Thanks for listening, and for more information, go to my website, PEMFbook.com. You can instantly download three free chapters there. I always welcome your questions, comments, and feedback. Get in touch with me at pmfbook.com forward slash contact. I sincerely hope the information in these videos will help you in your quest for greater health, happiness, and well-being.